Hey everybody, it's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna be playing on a world. But before we get to the video, I want to remind you, only 15.3% of people who are watching my channel have subscribed, the rest didn't. Consider press subscribe button if you're interested in variety of broken builds, um, guides, etc. based on Dark and Darker, because this is what my whole channel is all about. So pretty much, let's go back into today's video. So this is what we're going to be playing with. We're going to be running the combination of a Shadow Touch, the Vampirism, Soul Collector, Demon Armor. We're going to build up a decent chunk of agility. And well, that's the, pretty much the idea of today's video. We're going to try to focus to play with at least 40 agility. We're going to be playing with the combination of a Blood Pact and Phantom Ice. So this is what we're going to have. It's uh, pretty good, it's pretty strong, and um, this build in particular is actually quite powerful. Um, well, here what we actually gonna have. We're gonna have agility, 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 more agility, more agility, more agility, and we're gonna have necklace of peace, which gonna give us extra health and more agility. So pretty much we're just gonna have a lot of agility, and that's kinda gonna sums it all up. This build in particular, it's pretty much strong against everything. It's strong against rogues, it's strong against barbs, fighters. The only downside of this build is the um, wizards. The other wizards is do possess a lot of threat, way too much. The, the one that I'm talking about are bonk wizards, and they are arguably the strongest class at the moment. But if you want to counter the um, wizards, well, you would have to slightly change the build. You would have to go with the regular book and you would have to take the phantomize away but um that kind of will ruin the web and that will kind of make the warlock caster um instead of just the you know the melee class and this is pretty much what we have for today's video just exactly a melee class um as is very straightforward you turn into demon form you run in you stab start stabbing people with your priest dagger and um especially for example but phantomize is gonna help you out um to deal with other rogues so let's say if there is a row camping um, somewhere and you may notice that something is off, you could try to open the door and you can instantly use the Phantomite. So pretty much you will be able to be fast enough to spot a target, especially if the rogue will try to ambush you, um, get far away enough to turn into demon form and then re-engage into the fight. Well, that's just how it works and that's just how it is. So, so far, I'm going to be honest, I had a quite a blast playing with this so pretty much this is what i was able to make and we're gonna try and make a lot more so as of right now i'm gonna show you how to make the exactly same build based on market the build that i currently have is very budget there's absolutely nothing crazy i would assume it's slightly under 3000 gold and um we're just gonna go on the market and i'm gonna show you you know each and every piece that we're gonna buy once again phantomize um blood pact Soul Collector, that will buff your Blood Pact by 5 all attributes if you kill 5 mobs. Shadow Touch with Vampirism, pretty much this combination of two will buff the Blood Pact. Blood Pact also um, another like form of Vampirism. And uh, also we have a Demon Armor, so that we get to use the uh, plate pieces with Agility. So that's just kinda all. And yeah, so let's go buy the kit first, and then after that we're gonna go directly into the game. Okay, loose Traudis. Extra max health. We're not looking for anything crazy. We're just gonna buy something that is fairly budget. Four health. Here we go. Not too much. Blastern shoes. Move speed, always. Pretty much the one that you're looking for will have at least 40% move speed. Just buy it. Buy the cheapest one. Okay, damn. This is actually pretty good for 275 gold. Not bad. Let's actually see the prices. Let's see how much they... Oh, damn, bro. Why are they so cheap? Holy hell. Let me buy a bunch of those, actually. Okay, okay. I had a warden outfit. It's 200 gold. Um, And then I have a couple of rings. Very budget. They run 300 gold on market. Not gonna put on anything crazy. So, what else can I actually get? The Light Gauntlets was one additional physical damage. Only 250, but will offer you 3 agility, 3 strength. Think of it as a Grim Smile. Because <laughs> it like, kind of offers the same stats. It's very cheap. Okay, I think this Necklace of Peace will do just fine. I have way too many of those. So, yeah. And that cloak is looking pretty hot. 
All right, what else do we need? We need a crease, we need a Cyclops Vision Ball. Gotta go and find it on market. Pretty much, that's my stats. It's pretty decent. All right, Chris Dagger, epic quality. I'm not gonna try to buy anything crazy, we'll just literally buy the exact... The first one, <laughs> we see with some actually decent stats. And we gotta get some balls. Cyclops do drop them quite often, so they shouldn't be that expensive. Okay, the first one, here we go. So pretty much, yeah, this is the whole gear set. And let's go into the game directly. Okie dokie. Looks like we have someone here. Okay. That's the board. Okay. Alright, let's turn into Demon Foreman. Let's see how he's gonna react. What is he gonna do? Question mark. Is he gonna try to attack me? Is he gonna try to run away? There is no explanation here at all. He just decided to turn and do nothing. GG brother. Wait a second. We have someone below. The fucking mage is throwing fireballs. Okay. Oh, we have a warlock. What's the plan, brother? Let's try to stop him. Okay. That will do. Probably was low. Slightly. Oh. We have a bard here. Ow. Okay. That was easy. Alright, we gotta heal up first. Hope we're not gonna get third fighted here. But it's okay, even if we do, we have a pretty strong build. We might as well just get out of here. Okay. Not bad. Not sure where he fucking found those uh, gloves, but uh, he got some right items here. Okay. Usually when I walk into the room, I'm gonna phantomize just in case. Especially when you're gonna come close to the middle room, you never know when you're gonna come across the rope. Okay, so we have a cleric. I'm not to fight him. Okay, okay. Have another homie here. I don't really wanna kill the fighter. He doesn't seem like have much, but uh seems like he's more interested to fight than we do. Okay. Looks like Cleric is just trying to get on my nerves or something. Ah. The first hit? That had the potential to be a fucking headshot. But oh well. What, is homie coming back now? Change his mind? Sure, brother. Not sure what they're gonna do, though. Piece of shit. <laughs> okay, well, fine. Okay. Does this homie want some beef? I'm sure. We could do that. Ow. Hit the wall. Yeah, that was uh Oh holy heck. Looks like he headshot me once here at least. Let's heal up. And let's use the centipede to get all our HP back. Centipede have a very massive HP pool, and since you get uh, your HP based on the max health, you'll pretty much get all your HP in two, maybe three hits. Two. Yep, sounds about right. Holy fuck, brother. That almost scared me. Okay. I'm down to fight now, brother, if anything. Looks like we have another guy here. Alright, if he's gonna use a potion, I should use still. 
Okay. Sure, brother. That's fine. The moment I turn into demon form, instantly run away. Like, what is the matter with you, brother? Fight me. Ah, oh, shit. What are they, homie nows or something? Yeah, they are homies. Oh my goodness, brother. Oh my goodness, brother. Oh well. Well, that's one more cleric to kill. Good for us, you know what I mean? Okay, let's demon form here. Ah, should have fucking landed his second hit. Okay. Oh, I missed my first hit. He does think a little. Okay. I gotta heal up now. No, 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 The homie fucking was about to jump me. He was right above. Okay. Well, that's one less homie. Now we gotta deal with the, um, uh, the cleric. He's such a bitch, though. Holy hell, bro. The homie is absolutely scared to fight. With his build? Just by simply attacking Eleni headshots, you win the fight. But the homie is a bitch. Simple as that. Because I played with that build and um, I fought plenty of demon warlocks. As a cleric, you do stand a chance. As a mm, barb, you don't really. Against demon form. Oh my god. Homie doesn't want to go down. Oh, brother. Um, I gotta try and bait him out somehow. Maybe let's use Phantom Eyes and he would think that I was at attacked or something. That could actually work. Let's do it. Oh no. I'm gonna hit. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, maybe it'll work. Bro, the homie is running again. The homie is running. Okay. And now he's gonna try and re-engage. <laughs> oh my god, but there. This homie ain't a cleric, he's running paladin build. One. Okay, GG. <laughs> Good blocking, brother. Well, can't fight him. He didn't even use smite. And the homie is fucking skillful, he blocked my attacks. He knows how the warlock works, I guess. He saw that I popped the perk, I mean the skill, and uh, he simply tried to block it. I'm gonna get again. Wait, he's just gonna fucking go away? No, he doesn't. I need to heal up, I lost too much health. Looks like he's still on me though. Never mind, he isn't. Well, gotta heal up and try a fight with him. I have too little health. He would have killed me in one hit with the smite. Pretty much, the cleric will do way too much damage with the smite. Like, three hits could be enough to kill you. Even in a demon form, so you have to be real careful here. What the fuck? What's the homie doing? Huh? The homie, are you here? What the hell? Brother? What is the homie doing? Huh. I'm fucking lost here, man. <laughs> Where did the guy go, brother? You have to be fucking kidding me. Wait. What the hell? He was right below. How come did I not see him? I don't understand. Alright. 
Oh my god, you Mr. Cleric. <laughs> Fucking getting them nerves. Where is it now, brother? Fucking run away or something? That's fine, we're gonna catch up to him. We only have two minutes, so... Gotta be careful with that. I just wanna kill him. I don't need his loot. I just wanna kill him. <laughs> okay. Into the demon form we go. And so far, so good. We're gonna use the center pit to get HP back. Bro, I'm missing my hits. Holy hell. Well, you could see how much damage he's gonna actually do. Fucking, the homie is not a joke. Let's blast the fuck out of him. Okay, well, I thought it would take more than that, but it's okay. Almost died here. Phew. Damn, that was actually fucking terrifying. I don't have much time. Let's go extract. It's okay. Okay, okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Holy cow, brother. This homie is geared. Hell yeah. Looks like there is at least three geared players. There is super geared fighter. Probably around six to ten thousand. I can't really tell. Some pieces just this. But um the price could be weird. Decent stats could be cheap, and uh, some stats could be fucking really expensive. So it's like, you know. The difference between one stat could be like fucking difference in three thousand gold. So yeah, anyway, let's go try find some homies. Ideally, we come across the fighter, we come across the other warlock. And really, I hope we're gonna come across the barb. Okay, let's get some souls. We got five so far. Okay, fuck this mob. <laughs> Just because. Oh look, there is a homie peeking. Yo, this is the barb, this is the barb. I recognize the homie. This is the guy. Let's go try club him. Looks like he's absolutely not interested in fighting me. He's like, nope, fucking out of here. I'm gone. <laughs> Alright. For a second I thought he might try and um, creep around the wall. Just had enough of experience uh, people who are just like stop behind the wall, boom. Okay. Oh, he doesn't know I'm on him. He somehow missed the hit with the Volnax. Seems like he's kind of panicking here. Brother, you gotta do the play, man. Or that gear just be gonna be gone. Oh, looks like... Oh, shit. Oh, we come across the fighter. Oh, shit. We come across another barb. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like that, brother. Put up to fight. Okay, one. I had to heal up a little bit. Okay. Oh, that's way too fast. Okay. We have a little fighter here. I'm invested now. Oh, what are you doing, brother? Come back, you fool. You think I'm gonna let you fucking loot my homie? Hell nah. Oh, yeah, I fucking hurt. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, let's go loot. Let's reset. Let's get all the cheese back. And we're gonna be good to go. I brought better bandages this time. Fucking had to spend 240 gold. God damn it. I hate spending that much money on uh, bandages, but um, I at least bring one good stack. It's like, because they do pay off. Ideally, I find them when I kill other players, but people don't really bring them many good bandies and stuff. But they fucking lifesavers, especially in, like, in a combat. I call them combat bandages. <laughs> you just fucking quickly use one, two, boom, you're already back to almost full. If not full. Oh. Bitch. It's like, the homie doesn't want to fight me, but, you know, he's like fucking just being a little annoying. But that's okay, I respect that. You know, he's trying to put up a fight, so it's understandable. Honestly, consider the fact that how often I need to fucking use the demon form, probably the soul collector is not gonna be a play. I feel like there probably could be a better option. Holy hell, bro, the homie brought in legendary cheese. Those are 400 on market, even without any decent stats. Okay, homie is geared. 
Okay, additional moves to it. Damage. Alright. Looking good so far. Okay. So far, so good. Gotta take all the blues. Looks like fighter fucked up a little. That's fine. Yeah, so far, so good. Holy fuck! Two weapon armor pen max cells. Hmm. I'm kind of curious, where did the fighter go, though? There was a warlock who tried to engage on a fighter, and he was like, Oh, fuck, there is a warlock. <laughs> go fight with that warlock. Fucking don't fight with me. That shit was kind of hilarious, though. But listen, <laughs> fucking dark and darker. You know what I mean? If you don't try to team, well, listen. Fucking gotta give it a shot, at least. Okay. Hmm. We have a barb here. Oh well. Here's the naked barb though. I don't want to fuck with this guy. I'm almost 100% positive the homie is camping somewhere. That's how this homie plays. You only know how to rat. That's okay though. I understand. Okay. Hit your shots, brother. I'm not even in demon form, he is fucking scared of me, bro, look at him, he may be thinking that I have spells, I don't. He doesn't know that if I try to turn into a demon form, he could actually fucking beat me stat-wise. Cause this homie is way, way more geared than I am. Hmm, probably should've used Phantomize earlier. Yeah, I think if I'd used it like fucking 2-3 seconds earlier, I probably would be able to fit in. Okay, it's fine. Not that deep. Problem is where we're gonna fucking find him then. <laughs> Door is open here. Someone was here for sure. Oh shit, looks like the fighter was fighting the um, druid. Or he got cocked by druid. One or two. Wonder how much health does he have. And what he's gonna do here. The portals came up. If he's gonna try and fucking use the portal. I probably will be able to kill him. Alright, let's pre-buff. Okay. You got a hit. One, two. Okay. Well. Just for you to know, this guy's gear set, I'm pretty sure, fucking probably 5 to 10,000 gold. Let's actually see. This homie always bring the most biz and play like a biggest pussy. But it's okay, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, those rings, brother. Holy Oh, my... Bro, the fucking trousers. Oh, God. I actually need to throw a lot of good stuff to take his... Oh, fuck me, man. Oh, my God. Neck. Oh, <laughs> with armor. Oh, fuck. The buckler with armor. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. If anything, I gotta take that fucking buckler. Gotta get the dagger as well. Mm, the funky rest is decent, but uh, it's not the ideal one. What if anything? Okay, those rings kind of suck. Oh yeah, the fucking the dagger is like seven hundred on market, and the buckler probably up to thousand. But um, we'd have to check it out. Yeah, the home is geared to fucking this. If anything, we gotta take these two pieces. All right. Ah oh, shit! I wish I could equip it. I would probably need to throw those loses. One wigger, one physical. It's good, but uh, it's not gonna be as good as these two for sure. Oh man, two wigger, one move spin. I saw exactly. Ah, oh, shit, we have a homie here. I have no interest fighting him though, because I wouldn't be able to fit any loot no matter how hard I try. So let's not be a greedy piece of shit and let's take extract. Yeah, now. Nah. I'll just use Phantomize, fuck it. Damn, that hurts. Damn, bro, this chicken is actually kind of geared. Holy cow. Yeah, no, this chicken is really OP. I <laughs> wonder if he's actually... Oh, fuck me. Holy fuck, another wizard. The Bonk Wizard. My biggest threat, by the way. There's so many wizards in my games. Like, holy fuck, every single game there is wizard. Like, sheesh, there is less warlocks. Then fucking wizard scrum thing. God damn, brother. Where all the rogues are at, man. 
Okie dokie. We got all our shards. We're looking pretty good. Someone to my left. Yeah, someone definitely to my left. Okay. Let's see what's up here. What the hell are we doing? Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's open the door up. He didn't use a fireball? He didn't waste it? Not sure why though. He should have. Oh. Brother, you died here. Oh, God. I don't even want to talk about this man because there is. N there was zero chance that I will be able to kill this guy. And he just fucking fed the kill like that. He crouched, and probably because he crouched, he got stuck or something. I don't even know, man. There was zero chance that I will ever be able to kill a bunk fire fucking wither. Because before you even get into a fight, one, they're just gonna throw one fireball, ignite themselves, and kill you in two hits. And yeah, you just die in two hits. Like, I've been over this so many times. And this homie didn't do it, he fucking just got lost in the sauce. I don't even know, man. I have no reason here how that fucking happened. Zero reasons, like, literally. I guess, I know, he got unlucky. I mean, that's all I could say. It's simple as that. There's open doors, so you're usually just gonna fucking phantomize. No fucks given. You run through, and quite often you will be able to bait. And uh, since the rogue invis doesn't last that long, there will be out of invis, and um, you could just, uh, you know, use your demon form or something else. So far, I've been having quite a decent amount of success by just phantomizing, going through the door, and um, most of the time when people hear that you open the door, well, they're gonna fucking go into this instantly. Because uh, who would have fucking expect a warlock who's gonna be run faster than them, you know, just go through the door and pass it. Even if you're like super fast rogue, still like uh... the thing about the warlock and about this build, you have like 130 health and you have around 30 PDR, and that's basically the top end rogue right there. You know what I mean? You barely have anything, but you already possess enough threat to actually be dangerous, even against geared rogues. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh, we have a homie here. Let's fight with him. He has the budget version of a demon warlock. Also pretty dangerous. Gotta be careful with the homie. But at the end of the day, when it comes to fighting other demon warlocks, it's more about who's gonna land more headshots. Oh my fucking god, this stupid ass centipede. It's more about who lands the headshots, you know, that's what I noticed. People who play with the demon form, they don't really go for a headshot, but you really do. It's so. fucking very boring, I would say. I miss. Oh, yeah. GG. Mm, okay, okay. Might as well extract. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Someone is fucking with Centipede here. What the frick is that? This is a geared homie. Nope. Okay, interesting. He turned into a chicken? But why chicken, brother? Why chicken? <laughs> Out of every fucking creature you could have turned into, you turned into a chicken. That's one hit. That's two hits. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's just heal up, I guess. Damn. I don't even know, brother. <laughs> oh no, the homie failed the jump. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay. The homie is doing chicken build. <laughs> okay. You could block their transformation by simply staying super close to them. And they just wouldn't be able to transform. 
Or maybe he was just still to the wall, or maybe there was some even ground. I fucking I don't even know, honestly. <laughs> but if you do, let me know in the comments. If you stay way too close to the droid, will he be able to turn into the bear? I wouldn't really get to fight that many droids, honestly. Only a couple. And they were really fucking annoying, holy fuck. God damn, bro, there is gear, holy hell. Nah, dog, that's too much, man. Damn. Holy hell, brother. Alright, let's go into the next game. This one was pretty good. Holy hell, there's so many geared players in this lobby, bro. Two giga geared fucking clerics, warlock, rogues. Holy cow. That's gonna be interesting. Fucking pretty much survival of the fittest. <laughs> I don't know, for real. We gotta now mess up here. Too many people pretty much in lobbies like this. You either try and hunt one of the most geared player and just fuck off, you know, into the next game. Or I don't even know, because like you never know when you're gonna get third party. Pretty much in lobbies like this, everyone is so fucking bloodthirsty. And the amount of third party in the geared lobbies is insane. So yeah, we gotta watch out. But we do gonna go for every single kill possible, like, because listen. We are some pussy ass bitch warlock. We are here on the hunt, man. Someone here in this room, but fuck, I heard the mob getting aggroed. But, um, I don't seem to be able to find the homie, though. What the freak? What am I missing out on? Oh, fuck it, let's go south. I do think the homie spawned here, and he already fucking ran through that room, though. Oh, wait a second. Homie's right here. Well, let's go fuck with him. This homie is geared, he is the threat, we gotta be careful, you know what I mean. Okay, a little blast. Okay, he used smite. Let's stay away from it. One. Two hits, I think. He's gotta be low, though. GG. Not a bad fight. This homie is kinda geared, but not overly geared. But yeah, uh, I checked him in the pre-lobby, he was right. Definitely not a bad kid, 100%. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Yeah, probably like 3-4 thousand. Oh, you piece of shit. But yeah, now this is not the homie I want to kill, but I do want to replace rings. Because these rings are so fucking much better than he has. Way better than the one I brought. I brought in the most base agility rings. And his rings have, uh, you know, the true and other kind of cheese. My kit currently is so basic, it's ridiculous. It's the most basic demon form rogue build. Yeah, that made fucking suck dick, I think. Oh yeah, the ring of courage is good. Okay, let's sort it out really quick. Okay. Oh, blue bandies. Purple surgical kit. Okay, dokie. Okay. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about the fucking rings. Look at the stats difference. Oof. Drastic difference. God damn. Holy hell. Oh yeah, we want those, we want those for sure. We checked west, we checked south. Gotta check north. Don't want to get hit by a mob. Oh, this is the homie. This is the homie. This is the gear homie, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm so down to fight him. That's going to be a dead end, brother. That's going to be the dead end. All right. He uses his might and divine protection. Fuck it. Let's go fight. We're winning this. I know for sure. Um, holy fuck. <laughs> it's fine, though. Even though I missed double hit, double headshot, he also missed a couple of hits, so, you know, we're two bots. <laughs> I'm not the only bot here. I'm not the only one missing. But yeah, sometimes the dagger just fucking goes through, it fucking does no damage, holy hell, piecing me the fuck off. But it's okay. I'm pretty sure this is a Gary homie. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Oh, 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 I want those. Um, the rest is right. Morningstar is better. Yeah, we'll take that. 
I want to take the luncheon as well, because I uh, might as well play with it. No, 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 that's not it. Ooh, 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 the pots. Hell yeah. Those are expensive. Holy cow. Yeah, those are really expensive. Door is open here. It was not supposed to be open. Oh, I see why. Let's stay on him. We're not scared of rogues. Let's phantomize. Okay, well. Alright, that's blast number one. Okay, fucking black shot. Didn't do damage, I believe. Headshot number... He didn't try to dodge. Okay. Number two. He's gonna... He didn't jump down. I got jibated. G fucking G. <laughs> Is that the homie? That's not the homie, brother. I'm gonna mess with him for a little and extract. I don't think I will be able to kill him. There's just no way. But... I wanna mess with him for a little. Oh, that was a headshot. <laughs> oh shit, another headshot. <laughs> nah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. He's the homie. And I'm the homie too. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's see how much health he has, actually. I think he's like a third. Oh yeah, he's very low. He got some true damage. He's looting the homie, bro. <laughs> That's uh, it's hilarious. Okay, okay, everybody. So pretty much I want to conclude today's video. This is what we ended up getting. I was asked a number of times, why do I not show the stuff that I get from the games? And the reason is actually quite simple, because usually I simply forget. But uh, since I was requested multiple times in the previous comments, here we go. If you want to see the items, you can slow the video slightly down just so you could get to see the attributes. Some of the stuff could cost hundreds of gold. Some of the stuff could cost thousands of gold. So far, I have no fucking idea how much we made. But there are some rings that are actually kind of bis, and um, there's some stuff that probably not as good. But for the most part, I try to pick up the items that will have actually a decent chunk of value. So pretty much this is what we have. Um, I want to say the demon warlock, um, the demon form warlock is actually pretty satisfying to play. It reminds me of a combination of a rogue and a um, combination of a slayer. So I would say the demon uh, blood packed warlock with the full agility, with the phantom eyes, without um, casting spells, feels like the, something between the rogue and the slayer. You know what I mean? And also, you're kind of of a barbarian, but yeah, you're kind of of a barb as well. It's, it's overall, it's really damn good. It's really damn good. So far, the classes that you're going to be struggling with, um, it's going to be the bonk withers. Castor Withers, for sure. It's gonna be the clerics, the one that, uh, you know, use the, the casting uh, clerics. Yeah, for sure, those are fucking really terrifying. I'm gonna be honest, they're just gonna blast the fuck out of you. Um, So far, the clerics with smite, you just simply gotta kite out the divine protection or smite, and then you re-engage. I usually didn't even bother too much, because... I'm I kind of I kind of have enough experience to calculate how much damage I will be able to do while you know knowing how much damage I'm gonna receive. So pretty much overall, I really enjoy playing with uh, Blood Pack. I would say it's a pretty cool way to play the game. It's not a fucking range cancer. You can get kite around. You can actually like it, the easiest way to deal with this class. You the moment you see the warlock turn into the Blood Pack, you gotta walk away. Simply walk away, the warlock gonna hurt itself, and if you try to blast someone while being in a blood pack, your HP gonna go down like real bad. And that's why, so if you just simply stay away from a warlock that's trying to cast spells at you for 10-20 seconds, well, in a demon form, for like 10-15 seconds, this is it. You can re-engage in 10 seconds, and you would be surprised that the warlock doesn't really have that much else. So, yeah, so far, I know, I really enjoyed playing with a blood pack. I haven't really dive deep into the other um builds there's currently a couple i still want to test and it's going to be the regular phantomize caster lock i haven't really played much with that um i want to test the blow of corruption build with the spell memory and i also want to test the dark offering like so far there is at least three more warlocks built that we might experience in near future so we get to see you know and we get to learn this class a little better so we may end up learning and actually getting slightly better as the world. Anyway, it's Timo. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I'll see you in the dungeon. Peace out.